Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rhea Peterson, how's it going? It's meal prep Monday again, so you know that means that I'm going to be showing you all of the food that I am prepping for the week. I am keeping this one short and sweet, no ovens, really not a lot of equipment at all, and it's all just bright and fresh flavors that kind of lean into the summer. We are having quite the heat wave here, and I don't want a lot of hot things. <laughs> Everything will be budget friendly, easy to make, and in my opinion, delicious. So before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and that's it. Let's go. Okay, well I am going to share my grocery haul for the week, uh, like for my whole family. Um, just so you kind of know what we typically have if you're new here. Uh, but I'm also going to get the things out that I need. I am going to do some kind of like a BLT action, but I'm adding chicken to it to increase the protein. And I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do kind of a gluten-free version and then a glutinous version. I mentioned before, I am kind of cutting back on gluten, mostly for some dietary problems. Um, I'm not completely gluten-free, I'm not celiac, but I do like to have gluten-free options. And that's what I'm gonna do. And also my husband eats gluten, and he is also going to partake of the meal prep. So I'm gonna make sure we have some. And we're gonna do like wraps and crunch wraps, depending on how well my tortillas work for me. That is the goal. I also am going to include some fresh vegetables and kind of one of my hacks to make it more convenient, especially on weeks where I just really can't be bothered. So I'm gonna get all of my ingredients out and I'm gonna show you what I bought this week, minus a few things that I got after, but I'll show you those after. So I'll see you in a minute. Here is our haul, much smaller than last week's. <laughs> but let's start with our proteins. I don't wanna use the oven, it's supposed to be hot. So I got the fully co cooked bacon and this will also make mom life easier because my kids love bacon and they won't have to wait with those. So, I mean, it's a little bougie, a little bit of a splurge to get the fully cooked bacon, but can you put a price on convenience sometimes? No. Uh, we go through a lot of turkey breast. So I, I buy it in bulk at Costco, I'll put one in the fridge and then the rest go in the freezer and then once it's used up, we just take out a new one to thaw. It freezes really well, no problems, very convenient. Again, to make my week easier, rotisserie chicken is going to be my main protein in my meal preps for lunch and also for our like main dinner that I'm going to make for myself and my kids, which I'll probably include in one of my videos this week. So I'll try to remember to do that. Um, Dino Buddies and frozen pizza. Uh, I feel like I don't need to explain those. I have three children, two boys and a girl. So that's what we buy to make my life easier. But to add balance, I got more strawberries and bananas. We went through the bananas really fast this last week. Avocado. Um, I'm going to use those. I'm going to add them into my wrap and then also teach my kids the blah, which is bacon, lettuce, and avocado. And I'll put a blat. That's what we're going to do. We're going to use these rolls to do it. Um, my kids and husband are on this whipped cream kick and this was on sale at Costco. So I grabbed it because whipped cream lasts a really long time. So there we go. Whipped cream for the rest of my life. Bagels are always a staple. The Hawaiian rolls, I like to cut the whole thing and I make a massive thing of sandwiches that can go in the fridge and it will make lunches easier. So we're gonna do some like bacon, lettuce, tomato and add avocado for that. Um, and then tortillas are always a staple as well. My kids really like wraps and we'll do quesadillas, gluten-free bread and tortillas. And then we were out of fruit snacks and 
it was time to restock. It's a new month, new box of fruit snacks. Okay, so here I think is everything we're working with. And some of the things that you didn't see me get were these bag of salads. My local store had them on sale and I just wanted them for convenience. I didn't want to make a new salad every day. And I also didn't really want to have to use more containers to like single serve everything. And these are on sale and it was a good deal. These go on sale all the time at the grocery store. And there's something that you can't like stock up on for a long time, but you can also stock up on them for a week or two to make really easy and convenient salads to really pump up your nutrition. And you can also kind of dress them up. Like I plan on adding strawberries and cucumber and a little bit of spinach to these to bulk them up a little bit more and make them go a little bit further, uh, especially between myself and my husband. So these are gonna be really handy. So just a, a little bit of stove and microwave for the wraps. Otherwise, everything else does not need to be heated. But we're also going to be making breakfast items. And so I have got some steel cut oats. These are a great option. They have more, they're a little bit more nutrient dense than just your regular minute oats. But oatmeal in general is really good for you. It's really satiating. And so that's what I'm leaning into. My husband loves this stuff. He's usually the one to make it every week and he eats the majority of it. Um, but I am currently training for a marathon and I just need something to tie me over a little bit more in the mornings because my typical breakfast hyperfixation isn't cutting it. And so I'm going to have this pre-made in the refrigerator like my husband normally does. And I'm, I'm going to like dress it up like with strawberries. I have some raspberries. I also like to cook it with like a fried egg and make it a little bit more savory by putting some spinach on it. So there are a lot of different ways that you can make it to make it not boring. And that's what I'm gonna do this week. You won't see all of my combinations, but if you do follow me on Instagram, I might share some of the ways that I am eating my oats. I will link my Instagram in the description box for you if you are interested in that and checking out the steel cut oats adventure for Rhea. But other than that, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna cook these in the Instant Pot, so let's go get those started now so that we can assemble our wraps really quick. quick and easy. It's just a regular pressure cook for four minutes and then you let it sit for 20 minutes, but that's it. So easy. Just make sure that all of your vents are in the right spot, that your ring is in tight and then set it and forget it. Okay. And now I'm just going to cook the bacon. Normally my videos have a lot more footage of just me chopping and there's more music, but my goal with this one was to make it kind of a real time and show you that meal prepping can be really quick and really easy and that you don't really have to overthink it too much. You just want healthy proteins, healthy fats, and healthy carbs. And it can be really, really easy and quick.
done through their cooking phase and now they're sitting. They've been sitting for about seven minutes. Uh, and remember, we're doing a 20 minute rest before we open the lid. I am going to heat my almond flour tortillas <clears throat> and then we will assemble the wraps and I will be making crunch wraps out of these. So we'll come back to this again. These are called cut to carb, which is a fun name. Um, I get these online. I order them in a, in like the full box that you like the biggest amount you can get. And I keep them in the freezer and then I pull them out when I need them. <laughs> Anyways, they're, they're like nothing. They're 80 calories, three grams of protein. There's even a little bit of iron in them. They are glutinous, uh, but they're, they're pretty good. They do not pack a huge caloric punch and you can get a lot in these. I've made nachos with them by just cutting this into triangles. I've made pizza, uh, but for the most part, I just make crunch wraps with them. You could just make a regular wrap too. I'll link these in the description box. They're not insanely expensive and they last a while. Um, and I really like them, so you can check them out. into submission because I need them to still be like moldable. <laughs> so I'm just heating them through until they're cooked. I'm not going for really, really dark spots on these. Hopefully it, they'll cooperate. Uh, ideally, I would find a bigger tortilla, but this is what they had available as a, as a gluten-free option. But these will work and I just make it work with what I have. They'll be small, but they'll be mine. tiny little tortillas, but they do fold a little bit. So I'm thinking what is going to happen is I am going to make tacos out of my salad or out of my wrap stuff, which will still be good. It will be a chicken BLT taco and it'll be great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assemble them and then I am going to go back to the griddle and cook them just a little bit, mostly so that it holds its shape and then package them up and they will still be delicious, cold, hopefully. I'm, I think they will be, it should be fine. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay? When I blame you for the things that weigh me down Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me Yeah, in the echo of your silence I'm thinking more of her She who wants to study your body Who gets the better version of you
I'm gonna cook these up. It's, it went pretty quick assembling them all. It's always tedious to assemble things like this, but it's always worth it in the end. But I'm just gonna spray my griddle with a little bit of avocado spray. I'm only gonna lightly toast these, uh, mostly just so they kind of hold together. <laughs> Um, especially with the crunch wraps because they will come apart if they're not cooked a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. And then all we have left is making the salads and packaging everything up. So this is just coming to heat. I'm gonna spray it and lightly toast all of these guys and then pack them up. Put it in a container and be done. You can portion it out into uh, daily portions. Um, but I also kind of wanted to talk about ways to kind of zhuzh these up a bit. Um, adding things like beans is always a great option. I've talked about chickpeas before. Chickpeas are really good for you. They're chock full of protein. They're just, they're very good for you. Uh, lots of fiber, great option. The same with black beans. So simply just like rinsing some beans and adding it to your salad will make such a difference in the protein content and the micronutrients you're getting, vitamins, minerals, things like that, um, without necessarily adding meat to everything. <laughs> so beans, always a good option. Another option, and I've talked about this before, I really like having meat-free options. I don't like making my protein solely be based around meat or dairy. So I talk about this a lot, like having a meat-free option and beans are a really good way to do that. Lentils, um, tofu, there's a lot of options outside of like chicken. So here we go. With that being said, you also have things like hemp hearts. I really like hemp hearts, they're really good for you. They have tons of vitamins and minerals, lots of protein, and they are lots of omega-3s, and they're relatively like, at least for me, I don't really notice them when I add them to things. So, throwing in a couple tablespoons into a salad, great. Putting them on your oatmeal, like I would put them on my steel cut oats. Also a really good option. One thing is keep them refrigerated. Um, I keep a jar in my refrigerator and then the rest of this I'll just stick in the freezer and then refill as needed. Same thing with chia seeds. Chia seeds are really good for you. Um, you, you know, you can simply just add these to your water. It sounds weird, but adding just like a tablespoon of chia seeds to a big glass of water, if you're not put off by texture or anything like that, like it's a great way to get a little bit more of a micronutrient action into your water, kind of gives you something to chew on, keeps things interesting. Not a ton because then you just end up with like gelatin, but just a little sprinkling of chia seeds into your water is a really great option. But we're talking salads, so adding them into your salad. Again, putting them on your oatmeal. There are a lot of benefits to chia seeds as well. You're going to get protein, you're going to get iron, you're going to get lots of fiber and calcium, and again, those omega-3s, which are really good for you. So, also an option, also keep refrigerated. I just get these at Costco, I throw the big bags into the freezer, and these guys will go just kind of in the back of the fridge and call it good. Other ways to bulk up these bags of salad is to just add in more vegetables. Um, I'm opting not to add any avocado or tomato. There's plenty in the wraps already. And part of it was I didn't want to chop up anymore. But also, 
these are already pretty dense. This one has green cabbage, carrots, onion, lettuce. So this already has a lot going on, but I'm gonna bulk it up with just a little bit of cucumber. You could add in more spinach, kale, just whatever you have laying around, bell pepper. If you've got some vegetables that you need to use up, but you don't wanna make a whole salad, buy a bag of salad and just throw them in there. This one has lots of things. This has broccoli and kale and Brussels sprouts. Tons of, tons of things in them. I'm just gonna throw in some strawberries because I like strawberries and I want a little more antioxidant in at least one of my meals. <laughs> so that is your option. Another way to maybe not necessarily bulk up your salad, but make them a little bit more carbohydrate friendly <laughs> is to not use all of the dressing or make your own. Um, Oftentimes, I just like a little bit of balsamic vinegar on my salads. I'm not a huge dressing person, per se. Um, or you can take, if you want a lot of dressing on your salad, but you don't want a lot of the bulk that might come with dressings, is to just put some in a bowl and cut it with some water or lemon juice, uh, just to kind of make it maybe go a little further but not pack as big of a caloric punch. I think that this is a really good option, especially for somebody who's really, really busy or doesn't really like coming up with salad combinations. <laughs> you know, it's, they've got tons of different kinds. You can get big bags at Costco. They often go on sale. Again, it's a bummer that you can't necessarily like just stock up on them for the month because of shelf life but they last a pretty good amount of time and it's a great way to get a little bit more vegetable into your body. Um, so I'm not going to add beans or anything because I already have the uh, taco, crunch, the, the stuff I already made. Um, I am going to add a little bit of these guys and then I'm gonna use the strawberries and the sweet kale and I'm gonna add the cucumber to the avocado ranch salads. And then we'll visit the, nope. Yeah, then we'll visit the fridge. So here we go. We have the crunch wraps in the front and the tacos in the back, our salads and our steel cut oats. And that is everything. All right, well, that is everything. Everything looks really good. I'm really excited to eat it all. There were a few hiccups along the way, but that happens sometimes and we make it work with what we have. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, click that little subscribe button. I post every Monday food videos and then I post two other videos during the week, typically on Thursday and Sunday that are cleaning, organizing, life, mom stuff, whatever. So. I really appreciate you being here and that's everything. Bye.